Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. No one lives in Antarctica indefinitely in the way that they do in the rest of the world. It has no commercial industries, no towns or cities, no permanent residents. The only settlements with longer term residents who stay for some months or a year, maybe two, are scientific bases. Make your mark, take our lead. Even in Antarctica, you can only smoke in designated areas and then you have to carry all that ash until you leave Antarctica and can safely deposit it, this also counts for any litter you make. Depositing any rubbish or ash in the sea, at any point, is also a big no-no, so wait until you reach land. Make your mark! take our lead. Historically, flying close to or over the South Pole was ruled out by extended range twin engine operational performance standards rules. ETOPS governs how far away twin engine jets can fly from an airport they can land at. Over land with many airports, this is no problem. Point one nine November 2020. Take our lead. A lack of infrastructure. It is fair to say that there isn't much infrastructure on Antarctica at all, let alone towers and airports and other structures which can help airplanes take off, land, and navigate. The lack of such an infrastructure can make flying over Antarctica like flying over the sea. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.